hard for my buddies. We are back at the Goodwill Benz. I know you've all been waiting for a video. Here it is. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies. So for the month of, well, the end of February and the month of March, I am working really, really hard to list as much as I can on eBay so I can get you guys your Goodwill Bins videos. Now, I am putting items over on Whatnot in my Buy It Now section, so you guys can check that out. I actually listed these two little guys over on Whatnot. And I'm kind of trying out um, whatnot as a marketplace. So going to see how I do. I actually sold an item there to someone from my buy it now section. So that's pretty cool. If you guys are not on whatnot, I do have a link down below. It is a referral link and you can get $15 to shop. That's free money, you guys. So go join whatnot and maybe it could potentially be another platform that you can sell on. So definitely check that out. I do have a referral sellers link also that could help you get accepted quicker if you click on that link down below as well. And that is also a referral link. All right, you guys, so we are at the Goodwill Bins. And like I said, I'm pushing really hard to get these videos out to you guys. A lot of you have reached out in the comments saying you want more Goodwill Benz videos. Well, let me tell you, I have a bunch coming your way. I just have to get everything listed so that I can keep these videos educational for you guys. Um, popping up screen shares of everything that I bought during this shopping trip. So as we go through this video, you're going to see screenshots of the items that are listed, and you're also going to see screenshots of what has sold. I will tell you most of these items have not been listed very long. Um, so if it sold already, it sold very quickly. You will also see items that I put into my cart. That does not necessarily mean that I purchased the item. For example, these right here. I put these in my cart. I later did comps on those and decided to put those back in the bin. And sometimes things come home with me that, well, they shouldn't. <laughs> so um, I had a horse come home with me and it had no tail. And I uh, went ahead and donated that. I maybe could have sold it, but just decided to donate it. Uh, so you'll probably see that later in the video. And my friend is here with me today. And at the end of the video, you're going to see what she walks out with. Oh my goodness. And you'll get to listen to me crack up at her walking out the door. The last thing I expected for her to walk out with, I'm telling you, but she did it and she loves it. So you can find almost anything at the Goodwill bins. Okay. So this right here, I should have bought that. I've actually sold one of those items before and I'm not sure why I left it behind, but I did. Um, it was like a popper kid's toy. I got it out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold it, but it was a while ago. So I can't show you what I sold it for. And I don't remember what I sold it for, but it would have been worth picking up. I think it's vintage, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. All right. So we are digging, digging, digging. Um, the last video I did of the Goodwill bins was the video where I showed you guys what I found that will make me thousands of dollars. So if you guys missed it, this is what that video looks like. And honestly, you guys, no joke, I will make thousands once everything sells. It's incredible. It was an incredible find. And I just, I can't even believe I found it. And when I found them, I was like, oh my goodness, it was so exciting. But anyway, go check out that video. If you missed it, I will try to remember to link it down in the description of the video. I did find some decent stuff today. I did not find anything near what I found in that last video, but I will make some good money. And as I go through here, you're going to see those screenshots. Uh, one thing that I pick up, you're going to see, and it takes a lot of digging and it may not be for everyone, but um, I like to put those items on Poshmark also. So what I do is I start my items on eBay and then I cross post them with List Perfectly to Poshmark and Mercari. 
um, lists perfectly. I've been using it since 2019. It's a cross-posting service that, oh my goodness, is incredible. So if your sales are slow and you're only on one platform, I encourage you to look into cross-posting, getting your items on other platforms to get more items, more eyes on your items. Um, I sell mainly on eBay, but do cross-post to Mercari and Poshmark. Do I sell as much on Poshmark and Mercari? No, but I do sell items on those platforms and all of the sales add up. So maybe on a day that's slow for eBay, I may sell more on one of those other platforms or at least have a couple sales. So uh, definitely think about cross-posting. I do have a video down in the description if you wanna check it out. It is a how-to video. I walk you through how to use List Perfectly. It is so easy, so easy and so fast. Um, if you decide you want to try it after you watch the video, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. I did pick up this dinosaur. I kind of regret it because it's going to be a pain to find a box to ship it in. And I think it's probably going to be a long tail item. And then back before that, you saw a screenshot of um, some cards. I pulled those cards out of the block. Why did I do that? Because the block had like some dirt and debris and stuff down in um, the sleeves and I didn't want to clean it. So I was like, I'm just going to sell these cards as replacements. And I think I'll do just fine selling it that way. I do a lot of replacements. If you guys watch my bread and butter bolo videos, um, I teach a lot on how to um, part things out and sell cheaper items that you can source really, really cheap. So check out my bread and butter series. Um, I also have my big money bolos and I also feature other sellers, um, bolo items that they have sold. So if you guys are just tuning in because this is a Goodwill Bins video, please check out some of my other videos because I really, really hone in on items to be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. That's the main um, goal of my channel is to teach and help everybody learn what to look for. Um, you did see me pick up like a little dinosaur thing. I think it ended up being broken. So I threw that back in, um, did not end up picking that up. And the funny thing is, is I was getting ready to leave and my friend was checking out and they started to pull out another bin. And that's when I found the items that have already sold. So they are at the end of the video, but two items have already sold. They sold super quick and they were both kind of surprising. So stay tuned for that. And we'll talk about why I was surprised as well that those items sold so quickly. All right, I don't know what that was, but I decided to leave it behind. All right, this dinosaur is a good one. It actually has sound and moves. So I went ahead and picked that up. This right here is um, a motor to a toy. I was able to identify the toy. I'll probably end up parting that out eventually. I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, some of the items you're gonna see me pick up, I am going to put in small lots. This right here, it doesn't comp out very well, so I think I'm gonna put that with some other toys. And um, you'll see me pick up, like I think, a PJ mask. Uh, little toy and lots of different smalls. What I do is I've got bags where I put similar items together and then I'm going to lot them up in small lots. Um, it'll just be easier to sell them unless it is an item that will sell for a decent amount on its own. I'm not opposed to uh, parting out toys and selling them as replacements, but right now I've got so many bags I'm going through that I'm gonna try some bundles. All right, I just love the Goodwill bins. I haven't been for, like I said, over a month and I am like itching to go watching this video. I'm like having withdrawal. Okay, I'm kind of kidding. Um, this I picked up, but it ended up being expired. So I ended up having to throw that away. Um, breastfeeding things, I there are certain ones that are allowed and certain ones that are not. If it's new old stock or new in the package, you can sell it but I think there's some things that you can't sell. Okay, so here are all the Duplo Legos and I'm picking them all up. Uh, I do turn the camera off for some of it because it took me a while to grab everything. Now you're gonna see multiple listings here. I did lot them up strategically. Um, 
Some of them went with a certain playset. Some of the pieces that are harder to find, I um, did those separately and we'll sell them as replacements. You'll see that here in the future when I come back to this area and grab some more. Um, I was trying to get to all the bins and I knew these Duplos would be here because a lot of people just pass them by. And if you can find the big, um, there's another lot that I did. And then there is one that I parted out. And there is another one that I parted out. And I'm going to show you those again later in the video when I actually pick them up. Um, I couldn't remember if I got them then or later and I found them later. So I popped the screenshots up twice. So you will see a repeat of those. There's the horse without a tail. For some reason, I did not notice the tail was missing when I put it in my cart. It is flocked. Anytime I find flocked animals, that means they have kind of that fuzziness to them. I always pick those up. Um, but the horse without the tail, uh, I just decided to donate that. All right, there's the fence piece. I had three fence pieces, so I am going to sell those separately. Those are Duplo Legos as well. Let me know in the comments, do you guys sell Duplo Legos or do you walk past them? Again, I've done pretty well with them on Poshmark. Um, what I was saying is if you can find the big plate, I think it's 15 by 15. I found them at the bins a couple times. They are definitely worth picking up. And I think that has helped me sell my Duplos in the past as a big lot. People want that 15 by 15 inch plate. And then you add the other Duplos with it. If you can find like a mini figure or two to put with it, that definitely helps. So um, definitely keep that in mind. I don't think I grabbed those. I'm not sure why. Um, I must have looked through it and they it must have been incomplete or just not enough there for me to, to grab. This doll right here, I should have grabbed that. It's a Bratz doll. She didn't have her feet or any clothes, but I still sell them all the time. I don't know why I put her back. This guy is a home run. Um, he's a little, uh, I don't know what he is, some sort of retired plush. These Rescue Bots Transformers, I always pick up the Rescue Bots Transformers. They're usually long tail. A lot of items I pick up are long tail. I don't really worry about how long something takes to sell. If it sells fast, awesome. If not, um, I'm okay with that. I'm a long tail reseller, which just means I'm patient. I list it and I forget it. And things sell. I mean, things that I've had for a year or two, they just sell, you know, and it's just like a revolving thing. They just keep selling. So it's nice to just have all of that inventory in your store. And then you make daily sales. You um, just wait on the right buyer. I probably could sell more if I did, um, if I ended my items and did sell similar more often. Those big chunky pencils and crayons, I did pick those up. Um, I felt like they, I feel like they'll sell because they're for little kids and they're big, but I could be wrong. I don't think they're like vintage or anything like that. There is one item that I was watching this back and popping up my screenshots and I'm like, why on earth did I not grab those items? So stay tuned for that. I was like, what was I thinking? Do you guys ever do that? Um, if you're a YouTuber and you do these types of videos, when you're watching it back, do you question like all the things you missed? Like, why didn't I grab that? And then you get home and you're like, why did I buy this? This was kind of cute. Would you guys have picked up the little uh, can opener? I left it behind. I don't do a lot of kitchen things. I did do a scavenger hunt challenge. Um, it was called hashtag Ben's Bingo. Check out that video if you haven't seen it. And one of the items was a kitchen item. And I think there was also another category, but I ended up picking up items that you use in the kitchen and I actually sold them. So that was pretty cool. This right here, me and my friend were checking this out and um, we kind of ended up making a mess of it. But she was, I'm like, open this. <laughs> and she's opening it up here. And I don't know if it was like a jewelry holder or not, but we ended up accidentally messing it up. But would you guys have picked that up? I'm looking back now and I'm like, that was kind of cool. That probably would have been good to, you know, make a display and maybe uh, create a bundle and just sell it all together with maybe jewelry in it. That would have been neat, right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And also, as I'm going through this video, if you see something that you would have picked up that I missed, timestamp it, which means put the time in the video that you saw it and tell everybody why you would have picked it up. 
That way everyone can go back, look at the timestamp, and learn from you also as well as me. This item was kind of a womp womp. Um, I uh, looked it up and comps weren't that great. So I put that over on Poshmark because the shipping is cheaper on Poshmark for heavier items like that. I did pick up that Victoria's Secret flip sequin, like, I don't know, cosmetic case. I'm digging out Duplos, as you can see, still digging these out of here. Um, some of them, again, I parted out. The bigger pieces, I'm just lotting together. What I was doing there was making sure that it said Lego or Duplo on it. Um, sometimes the Mega Blocks look really similar. And Mega Blocks are fine, but you, I just list, list them separately. I don't list them together. So, And I like to sell them in bulk, so in a big lot. All right, I'm looking at this fridge again. <laughs> I already looked at this fridge. Like, what am I doing? I guess I'm thinking maybe I want the fridge, but I don't get the fridge. I left it behind. Would you guys have picked up the fridge? I think it's like a Barbie fridge or something. Still picking up these blocks. Look at me. So let me know in the comments, would you waste your time on the Duplo Legos? I should pop up screenshots of some of the ones I've sold, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I think um, I show you one set in my hashtag Ben's Bingo video. So go check out that one. Another big money bolo I sold from the Ben's Bingo was the mailbox. And you'll see what I'm talking about if you go watch that video. But the Ben's Bingo was a collaboration video that I did with a bunch of other YouTubers. I basically gave everybody a bingo card and they had to go like on a scavenger hunt and find all of the bingo items. A bunch of people participated. If you put hashtag Ben's bingo into the YouTube search bar, you will be able to find all of those videos. If you want to participate, I am leaving it open. If you go to my community page um, and scroll, 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 you will find the bingo card um, with the information of how to participate. And once you do your Ben's bingo video, you can send it to me and I will post it in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group that has over 80,000 members and I will also post it on my community page. So if you are looking to grow your YouTube channel, that is a great way to do that. So um, that is open to anybody watching. So go do and play the Ben's Bingo, hashtag Ben's Bingo. So Bingo card is on my community page. And if you have questions, you can reach out to me on um, Facebook Messenger or Instagram Messenger, and I can uh, guide you that way too if you can't find it on the community page. All right, you guys, we are going to keep digging here. Lots and lots of uh, goodies. I didn't find any home runs today, but that's okay. I don't know why I didn't grab that. I always pick up new old stock items, um, especially, I mean, they're sealed. They're easy. It doesn't matter um, if they're big money or not. If they're lightweight and they have a barcode, they're super easy to list. So those were bottle nipples. Definitely should have got those. Um, that looks like maybe a costume. I did not pick that up. So again, let me know if you see something that you would have grabbed that I left behind. I always love hearing your feedback of, why didn't you get that? And everybody's like screaming at the monitor and uh, TV or wherever you're watching this. And you're like, why didn't you get it? Okay, so here's my friend, and she just found me a nice little bolo. I'm like, give me that. It's a, an American Girl um, saddle for a horse. So that is available in my eBay store. Um, she is not a reseller, so if she finds stuff, she will give it to me. All right, here are some, um, what do you call them? Napkins, not napkins, hankies. Some vintage hankies. I don't know why I did not put those in my cart. Maybe they had boogers all over them. I can't remember why, but I should have put those in my cart <laughs> because vintage hankies can do really well. And um, for some reason, I left them behind. Would you have grabbed the vintage hankies? I mean, they're cute, right? And they look nicely folded. I, I looked at them and I left them behind. I mean, I, I, I don't even know what I was thinking. So bolo fail right there. All right, so I am looking through the bags. Typically, by the time I get to the bags, they have been like picked over big time. This is one of those sections that everybody like 
stompedes when they come out. Everybody's like looking in the pockets and looking for money. And um, I usually hit it up after everybody has kind of walked away. So I was getting ready to check out and I saw this open space, which meant they were bringing out a new bin. So I walked back over and I was like, okay, I'm going to dig. So um, I did find some stuff and some of it has already sold. So we're going to talk about those items as well. Um, this right here is a mini Boyd's. I was hoping it was going to be one of those really rare ones that go for over a hundred, but unfortunately it was not. That was a Paw Patrol replacement dinosaur. I went ahead and listed that as well. Um, I found some really, you know, decent items right here at the end, right before I was leaving. So I was pretty happy about that. And one of the items you're going to see right here, it is just a replacement. Um, it's missing a cone that it sits in. And the person left me feedback already and said that it's a harder to find item. And I searched comps and I felt like I priced it competitively, but also like not too cheap, um, but it sold really quick. So maybe I underpriced it, but that was a plush. And then I also sold another item, which is really weird because it's totally out of season. Um, I think that's a mega block or a vintage Lego that's in my hand. Um, I don't think I've listed that one yet. But anyway, the next item that sold, let's talk about this first. I have not listed it yet, but I did pick it up. But it's got some um, wear on the packaging, kind of some staining. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. But the next item that sold, I've said that three times now, it's winter right now, and this is a summer item, so I'm really, really surprised that it sold so quickly. But I guess people do go on vacation in warmer areas, or maybe they're just thinking, I can get it cheaper now, and it is this life jacket right here. This sold so fast. I sold it for $13.64 plus shipping, so was it a big money bolo? No, but I was really happy with what it sold for, and it was really lightweight, so it probably cost me under a dollar. I think that thing weighed like six ounces. Super, super lightweight. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Keep hanging out because at the end, I'm going to show you what my friend bought. Man, I was cracking up. I'm like, are you serious? The thing had stains on it. And she's like, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to clean it. And I'm like, okay. Um, I still don't think she's cleaned it, but I will ask her and I'll have to let you guys know in a future video if she has cleaned it. I know she's using it, but anyway, uh, we're going to get there. I thought we were closer to the end. It's just a blurp at the end. So I wanted to talk about it now. Um, really, really funny. So can anybody guess what it is? Pause and go guess. Are you guessing? Did you pause? <laughs> All right. The video is just about over. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share.